If you're looking to use your Sony PS4 controller or Microsoft Xbox One Bluetooth controller with your Apple iPad or iPhone, then you're in luck. iOS 13 has recently been released and now you can do exactly that. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TechWiz Time where I help you save time and money when it comes to gaming and technology. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can actually sync your Sony PS4 or Microsoft Xbox One controller to your Apple device. In my case, I'm going to be using an iPad, but for those that have iPhones, this method will work as well. So let's just jump in and we'll start with the Sony PS4 controller. So first things first, on your Apple device, whether it's your iPad or iPhone, make sure that you've updated to at least iOS 13. Next, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into settings and then into the Bluetooth section. Once there, we can start syncing our Sony PS4 controller. And to do that, we need to hold down the PS button as well as the share button up the top. So do that for three seconds and you should see a little flash there like that. And that means that it's starting to sync with the iPad or iPhone. So once it comes up in the list there, you need to tap on that and then your Sony PS4 controller is synced. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? So next up is the Microsoft Xbox One controller. Now, unfortunately, not all Microsoft Xbox One controllers are the same. In particular, the Elite versions and Model 1708 are the only ones that will work because they have Bluetooth functionality. The older or original Xbox One controllers weren't Bluetooth, unfortunately, so those won't work with this tutorial. So again, what you need to do is you need to go into the settings section of your iPad or iPhone and then into Bluetooth. And then to sync your Microsoft Xbox One Bluetooth controller, you just need to hold down the X there. That will start flashing and then hold down the sync button for three seconds and it will flash rapidly. That's when you know that it should show up in the list. So once it does, tap on the Microsoft Xbox One controller and you're synced. How awesome is that? Now the beauty of this is that it will work with controller compatible games on the App Store. So there are a few out there, including the all popular Fortnite. As you can see here, the controller doesn't make me any better, but it's still an awesome experience to be able to play Fortnite on an iPad with an Xbox or a PS4 controller. Awesome. So if you have any troubles with this guide or anything like that, make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what troubles you fell into and we'll see if we can help out. And if this is your first time here, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell icon to get notified of new videos when they get released. You can help support what I'm doing here over on Patreon. Otherwise, what you can do is you can share this video on social media platforms like Facebook, Reddit, or even Twitter. Because believe it or not, that really helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to give this video a huge like. And I just want to say thank you to all the viewers out there, especially if you've gotten this far in the video. Thanks guys. And as always, Imagine, learn, create.